In today's video, I'm going to be covering some of the traits that I feel make a great pharmacist. So if you're interested in being a pharmacist, keep on watching. Get your life, plan it out. You can go as far as you can dream. And just lay, curls popping. She's a doctor of pharmacy. So first things first, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Bianca. I am currently an ambulatory care pharmacist and I do videos all about pharmacy. So if you're interested in learning more about pharmacy, I do have a playlist dedicated to just that. So please check it out. I will link it below in the description box. I also do videos on natural hair and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of the videos that I do share, please consider subscribing and joining the fam. I would love to have you here. So the reason why I wanted to do today's video, I was sitting at work with my coworker and I was like, what do you think are traits that pharmacists should have? And so we just got to talking and I created a list and so if you're interested in pharmacy and you do have these traits, I feel like you would make a great pharmacist. Now, I will also like to say as a disclaimer, if you do not have these traits, I don't want you to be discouraged. I don't want you to feel like, wow, pharmacy must not be for me. Some of these traits can be built over time and things that you'll learn in pharmacy school and be more mindful of and more conscious of as you treat your patients. So definitely take what I say with a grain of salt. I don't want you to change your whole career path because you're like, oh my gosh, she said I should have this and I don't. <laughs> That's not what this video is about. So. All right, so now that we have all of that out of the way, the very first thing, and by the way, these are not in any order. These are just at random. But the very first trait that I feel like pharmacists should have is great communication. Communication is going to be key, especially depending on where you work, you might have patients who are on a fifth grade reading level. So you need to be able to communicate how to use that medication to someone on the fifth grade reading level versus a physician. You also want to be able to explain techniques to different people. So you might have language barriers present when someone doesn't speak English, you still need to be able to get that information across to them. Or if you have a child that you're speaking to, you want to be able to communicate with them, but also listen. So great listening skills and great communication skills go hand in hand. Patients are going to come in, they're going to have a horrible day, and they're going to want to tell you every single thing that's going on. So you want to be able to redirect that conversation. We call those patients chatty patties. If you do have a chatty patty, just be able to reroute it, but also not disrespect them. So you don't want to cut them off but you also are on a time schedule with your visits, so you wanna be able to reroute. So being able to listen, but also having great communication skills are definitely two of the traits that I think of when I think of pharmacists. The next trait is definitely attention to detail. So in pharmacy, there are medications that look alike and sound alike, and I will put a list of some of those on the screen. You have to be able to pay attention to detail to know which prescription you're actually referring to, whether it's on a medication list, a new prescription that's coming into your pharmacy, a patient discussing the medication. You need to be able to differentiate which medicine they're talking about because nine times out of 10, they're treating two different conditions. So you don't wanna get confused. Sometimes it's just, three letters, like the first three or four letters sound alike and the rest of the name is wrong. So if you miss that, and you're probably thinking like, how would I miss that? It's easy to overlook those things. So it's very important that you pay attention to detail. And if they have allergies and they're being prescribed a medication that relates to that allergy or that contains that ingredient, you wanna be able to catch that before it gets to the patient. The next trait that makes a great, magnificent, wonderful pharmacist is going to be knowing how to use your resources being resourceful. So in pharmacy school, you're gonna learn all of these great things about different disease states, medications, maximum doses, this, that, and the third. But after graduation, guess what's gonna happen? Guidelines are gonna be updated, right? So the first line treatment that you learned in 2017 may not be the first line treatment in 2024, but you're still gonna be practicing as a pharmacist. So it's important to know what resources to utilize to find those answers. So you're not always gonna know the answer, but as long as you know where to go to get the answer, that's all that matters. So you should be comfortable with that and knowing where to go to find what. So if a patient asks you, can this be crushed? Or a physician asks, hey, can this tablet be crushed? You're not gonna Google that, right? You're gonna actually go on the resource and find out if it can be tr crushed, split, or uh, swallowed, like mixed in with applesauce and then swallowed. So all of those are gonna be important for you and resources outside of like up-to-date, um, PubMed, micromedics those are just some examples but you definitely don't want to google <laughs> and you'll learn these resources in school as well so just know that you need to be resourceful and be able to gain the knowledge from those resources when you don't know the answer another trait that makes a great pharmacist is being a team player 
you have to be able to pick up what your teammate dropped, right? You have to be able to put together the puzzle pieces when things are missing. If the pharmacist the day before you didn't get through all of the, say for instance, you work in a doctor's office. If the pharmacist didn't get through all of the prior authorization paperwork, then it's your job the next day to pick that up, right? If you didn't see Ms. Jones on last week, but this week you need to see her, it's your job to pick up wherever they left off. In a community or retail setting, if you have a pharmacist that was extremely busy and they still have maybe 20 or 30 prescriptions in the queue that need to be verified, when you come in the next day, that is your job to pick up where they left off. So you really have to be a team player and you can't take things personal because I feel like that's where things go left. So as long as you are all a team and you communicate, have that open communication between one another, it kind of keeps the boat afloat. So the next trait is a very big one. So you should be able to have integrity as a pharmacist. Integrity makes a great human being in general, but especially in the healthcare field. What that means is when no one is watching, are you doing the right thing? So I'll give you an example. If you are in the community pharmacy settings and say you see a technician filling, pop, filling pills, counting them out, and something happens and all of them fall on the floor. If she or he or she picks those up and puts them back in that patient's bottle, that's something that you should be mindful of, right? That's something that needs to be reported and addressed before it gets to the patient. What if you as a pharmacist put the wrong bottle inside of a different patient's bag and you realize it before it gets to the patient or after it gets to the patient? Say the patient goes home and you're like, oh my gosh, I still have a leaflet for Ms. Jones. That means she didn't get the right medicine. Integrity would be you as a pharmacist calling that patient, hey Ms. Jones, could you take a look in your bag to see which medication that you have versus leaving it untouched. If you leave it untouched, that patient could be at harm, right? So there's a lot that happens in the healthcare field where your integrity is gonna play a huge role. So just make sure that you do have integrity and that you're always doing the right thing, even when no one else is working with you and no one else is watching. The next skill set or trait that you should have to be a great pharmacist is being able to multitask. This is a non-negotiable in my opinion, but like regardless of what specialty area you go into a, in a pharmacy, you're going to have multiple things happening at once. Whether the phone is ringing, physicians are calling you or trying to speak with you, patients have questions, customers, your team, lots of moving pieces. You're placing the order. You might have multiple patient charts open. So if the doctor comes over and says, hey, for Ms. Jones, let's also send in some Tylenol and Lysinopril. If you have patient Thompson open and not Jones or both of them, you might very well be on the wrong chart about to send a prescription in. <laughs> so making sure that you're able to multitask and focus and complete each task is going to be very, very important. If there's anything that I talked about that you're like, oh my gosh, I have never been good at that. Just work towards it. That should not cancel the career altogether for you. <laughs> I don't want you to be like, all my life I wanted to be a pharmacist. But Bianca said, I, no, no. <laughs> like you can still be a great pharmacist. Just make sure that you're aware of these things because they will arise. Whether you work in this job, that job, they're going to come up. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, please leave them below in the comments. As always, I appreciate you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll see y'all on my next one. Bye. Bye.